Good evening, everybody. My name is Retta, and I'm super excited for today's video because we get we have finally launched the brand new A to Trade website. And instead of just Options Flow, we've introduced uh we've introduced Options Flow again, but with years of historical data, all kinds of new filtering, real time news, real time uh, uh, charts for, for you know what has the most bullish or bearish sentiment and dark pool data. And a lot of people have been asking for a video on specifically dark pool data. They're trying to they're fig trying to figure out how do we use dark pool data along with options flow and what's the advantage, what exactly is dark pool data. So without further ado, let's get right into it, right? A dark pool is actually a type of alternative trading system. There's a bunch of different types of alternative trading systems. This one just seems to be the most popular. An alternative trading system is sometimes called an ATS, and an ATS just gives certain investors the opportunity to place large orders and make trades without publicly revealing their intentions during the process of trying to get a buyer or trying to get a seller. So a dark pool order or just a dark pool in general is just an alternative way to route your order. Now, a dark pool print is just one dark pool order. So you might be saying, right, uh, 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 a dark pool print is just one order. So what does that mean, right? Well, if you take a look here, Sumo, somebody at 5.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, somebody and some somebody sold $424,000 or 424,000 shares of Sumo at $18.62 for an average uh, or for a rough average of about $8 million total, right? So somebody bought 424,000 uh, shares and somebody sold 424,000 shares. And this transaction was done through a dark pool. So you might be saying, if these transactions are always are reported, then what does it matter? Well, dark pool trades get re get reported, but in fact, all equity trades are reported. And dark pool reporting is delayed for anonymity's sake, right? So alternative trading systems have to get reported just like any other trading system. But the reality is because these guys are trying to stay anonymous or trying to route their orders in fancy ways, they have the luxury of being able to delay how long it takes for the market to see this order. And that's the advantage with the Ada Trade system is because we're aggregating for these orders in real time, Ada Trade users are some of the first users to actually be able to see this data and they don't have to wait days for the actual reporting from FINRA. And now you might be saying, well, why is that important, right? So why is that important? Why is it important that we know somebody's moving $8 million here, or somebody's moving $8 million there? Well, it's actually not important. What's important is whether or not this was abnormal in, in terms of uh, uh, this was abnormal in terms of the stock. And if this was bullish or bearish, because what does it matter if we know the orders? So now we understand what dark pools are, what a dark pool print is, and we understand that eventually all these orders get reported anyways. And Ada Trade is just reporting them faster, right? So if these dark pools exist in order to facilitate large trading between institutional investors, you can just think about it for a second. If you want to move $500 million, you're not going to move $500 million by opening a sell order on Robinhood. It doesn't make sense because $500 million is a large sum of money and you could probably get somebody else to buy that on some other institution and maybe do a special deal or give them a special kind of discount or you get a special kind of discount, right? So now you might be asking is why is we know why it's important for institutions to use the dark pools. We know that Ada Trade is getting the dark pool data faster, right? And, and it's giving you an edge in terms of being able to see the data. But now how do you use the data? Why is it important? Well, it's important because our system is ag actually aggregating against years and years of historical data. And when we come out and say, hey, look, there was this order done on Sumo, you should, you're, you're automatically taking in as like, hey, this is unusual. This was done, uh, this order was done on Sumo with somebody trying to conceal that they spent $8 million on Sumo, right? That in itself is like, hey, maybe let me take a look at Sumo. But even on top of that, it's like, what about these larger orders? There was 600 million and 300 million. It's like, look, this guy right here, uh, maybe these were one order, but this is about six, five, $686 million in SPY, right? And you might be saying, well, right, a SPY has tons of orders pushed through every single day. Why are these orders particular? <laughs> well, it's because this $686 million, based on the typical orders for SPY, was A, routed through a dark pool, and B, done with most likely bearish intent based on previous dark pool orders. 
So because of that, you could say, hey, at 549, somebody got rid of a lot of SPY. I wonder how SPY is going to react tomorrow. And then you can compare that to the options flow. And then you can also use this as supplemental data, right? So let's say, for example, you're watching the stock market and you're like, wow, Alibaba has gone all the way from 319 at its highs down to literally 224, right? Or even in recent history from 270 all the way down to 224. I really like Alibaba, but I wonder what big money thinks, right? If you're wondering, oh, I wonder what big money thinks, then why don't you take a look at what big money is doing? And that's what we're going to do here. So we'll, we'll open up the options flow as well as the charts there. And we'll search, we'll say Baba. We'll put it in there and we'll wait for the options flow data to load. And you can see the dark pool has already come up here and we can see two orders today, right? So this is orders going back all the way back, whenever, all the way to back to December, but two orders just today, right? For Baba with bullish intent. And look at the size of these things, right? We're talking about almost $400 million here. But even besides that, you can take a look, obviously here's data going all the way back. You can go all the way back to, you know, wherever you could even turn on the historical function and search any dates that you wanted to any strikes that you wanted to, but you could see, Hey, somebody also put a million dollars in Baba 280 calls that expire on, uh, uh, that expire in three months from now, about three and a half months from now. So you can use this data along with the fact that you maybe have already have an intuition to buy Alibaba to try to figure out what large players are doing and then track their trades. So that's the idea behind dark pool orders. And the advantage with the Ada trade system is obviously that we're aggregating this data faster than everybody else. We're giving you quality information based on history. And if you use that to supplement with your trading, well, that's an edge in itself. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a, uh, you know, leave a comment in the description below. Remember, you always have the opportunity to join us here and chat. Uh, I'm live almost every single day. I talk and discuss with people every single day about you know, what we either what kind of fancy information comes up on our system or what kind of fancy information we find elsewhere. That being said, make sure to watch the video on options flow as well. That one's all the uh, tagged in the top right. Uh, keep in mind that was shot on our old website. I'll have an updated video for everybody soon. And I hope you guys are able to use this data to make some cash. I will see you guys in the next video.